Welcome to TechX Media live from Jitex Global 2025. I have with me right now Mr. Mr. Ram Narayanan, Country Manager Middle East at Checkpoint Software Technologies. Let's welcome Mr. Ram on TechX Media. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you here again after a long time. I think last time we spoke it was around 2 years back. That's true. That's true. It was a conversation that I still remember and very nice to meet you again and have this conversation on Jitex. Likewise. And uh, so, uh, Ram, uh, please tell us what are the new technologies you are bringing to Jitex this year? Uh, Jitex is always a platform where innovation meets reality. So, from that perspective, there are a lot of innovations that we are kind of showcasing at this platform. So, I would just highlight a couple of them. So, what I would say is that Checkpoint has always been on the innovation curve, and if you see, we brought in. the prevention first approach we had a unified management completely ai powered so this was been the base that which we have been working on and especially during this jitex we recently did a couple of acquisitions and uh, late last year so external risk management which we call it as uh, the former cyber in solution is something that we can we can showcasing the best customers today want to see not only threats from inside but threats from outside as to how cyber attackers see them so this is one of the unique solutions as a platform which covers the risks that the enterprises face and the second one that we are showcasing is the continuous threat exposure management which is coming from the acquisition of verity which is kind of nothing related to checkpoint but it is just assessing the risk on a customer environment even though they would be using multiple other technologies and showing them the risk and then how can they reduce the gaps that they have and reduce the overall risk of the enterprise so i think these are all two demos which we are showing and we are very excited about the intent to acquire lakera which is completely a end to end ai security company and today everyone is on the verge of adopting ai in one form or shape and that the risks that it brings so we are very excited about the conversations that we are having around the ai use cases and how we can secure the large language models the agentic ai the model uh, uh, security that customers are looking for so we are very excited to show all, at least i would highlight these three innovations at this jitex all right uh, tell me ram how is uh, checkpoint growing in the middle east with with its new initiative uh checkpoint has been significantly growing from where we left and let's say if you benchmark it to what we are doing today i would say there are three dimensions in which we will highlight our success one is the investment checkpoint has done in the region today we are close to 40 team members which is kind of consultants and architects plus the sales team because we are take, taking this unified messaging platform what we do with the ai power technologies and the prevention first approach to more customers in the region so expanding our footprint second is the technology in investment that we have made so the infinity platform which is the unified management that we have is uae hosted and we are very happy to announce that it is also desk certified so it helps public sector private sectors and customers across all um uh, aspects to come and consume the service which we offer this is second and the third aspect is the partnership that we are strengthening because we understand we need to have the force multiplier everybody is looking at cyber security and everybody wants to secure their enterprise so it has to be a consolidated effort so we need our channel ecosystem to be ready and convey the same message that we are passing so from all these dimension we have grown significantly striking very strategic partnership through which we have managed to kind of uh, speak to many large customers which we have not had, had access to and up with our own investment as well now with ai and cloud computing on the rise how are you helping organizations uh to stay secure with the adoption of these technologies definitely it goes without saying uh what i would say is that checkpoint is a proven technology globally and always once the technology is proven it's about taking the technology and then understanding what the customer needs are especially in the region and in the larger middle east if you see the digital transformation has taken shape because of which cloud adoption is much higher secondly if you see with lot more of ai and adoption of ai and digitalization so there are risks and the government as well as the regulators and everyone wants to move forward and they want to embed security as part of this process so from all this perspective 
the need for security is understood. So that's where in a multi-cloud environment with the AI adoption and uh, many other things that are happening around it, we are kind of engaging in those conversations with talk, with government, with entities, with regulators, with customers, so that we are helping them embed security as part of the, it's not security is an af afterthought, but these are all evolving domains and nothing is constant, but we already understand the needs and we are kind of evangelize what is the step in the right direction and then having those conversations and then it helps in terms of our innovation curve as well so that we are able to bring in the new capabilities which the customer would want to realize. Interesting. Can you tell me in simple words that how Checkpoint's hybrid mesh security helps hybrid and multi-cloud environments? Right. So it's front and center of what we do. Hybrid mesh architecture is what Checkpoint has been advocating because we know that it's a reality. Just to make it very simple, post-COVID, everyone was working in the office and then everything was data centric, uh, data center centric. Now, post-COVID, everything was remote and then everybody was working remotely. But I think after a few years, now things are settling down and looking at a kind of a hybrid architecture where everybody understands they're still going to have some physical data centers. Some of them are moving to the cloud for the benefits cloud offers and then users are remote and distributed. So how do you securely give them access irrespective of whether it's a physical data center, whether it's in the cloud, whether it's a SaaS solution that they're consuming? And this is exactly where the hybrid mesh architecture comes into picture because this is the reality and this is what customers are facing. How do we secure the endpoints? How do you secure those endpoint footprints? How do you give secure access to application, whether it's on the public cloud or on your data center, whether how do you secure the workloads on the public cloud? So these are the conversations customers are worried about. But as Checkpoint, what we are trying to give, tell them is that digital transformation doesn't have to introduce risks. It, you can securely do that. This is exactly what Checkpoint is here to help customers in those kind of conversations. How is Checkpoint using AI to make threat prevention easier and smarter for its clients? Very interesting question. Uh, I would put it in two parts to, again, make it very simple. AI for security and security for AI. So the part of the question that you asked is AI for security because how is AI helping? So what we are doing is, if you see our threat cloud AI, which is the brain behind all the intelligence that we bring for our uh, quantum solutions, for our cloud guard, our harmony, whichever solutions that we do. So what we are doing is we are parsing billions of logs every day. It's manually not possible. So we are already deploying almost 50 different AI engines to do all of those in the background. This is already done. Nobody sees it. Second is how AI is going to help operations. Now, this is where on our Infinity platform, we have something called as an AI co-pilot, which helps them to automate many of the manual tasks that they will do so that it becomes easier for them to automate all of those tasks and then only focus on very important aspects and spend their time for more strategic initiatives. So this is AI for security. And the second aspect is securing AI. As I said, the intent to buy Lakera in Q4 brings in that capabilities where customers are having their own large language models. They have Gen AI or, or Agent AIs. And how do you secure them? How do you secure the communication? How do you make sure the prompts don't uh, get manipulated and the models don't get poisoned? So, those are all the things, a conversation that Lakera can bring in, and we are very excited to have that conversation. So it has two dimensions, one for security itself and one for securing the AI models. All right. Thank you so much for sharing these uh, great insights with us. It was an absolute pleasure talking to you. Again, thanks for having me, and it's a great uh, uh, opportunity to have this conversation, and we are very excited. And to all your viewers, come visit us at the booth. We have a a lot of demonstrations that are happening. You can see all of these innovations in action and hopefully we will be able to solve some of the challenges that you have and uh, your customers have. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you for watching.